All right, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Uh, this is a, a Zotec Z box. It's a, it's a mini PC. I've already opened this. I, I've removed the uh, the um, the memory card. Uh, this is an SSD card. Uh, it's 32 gigs. Uh, let's just take a look at the specs here. So I can move this box out of the way. I'll put a link to the actual specs at some point. But what you get with it, let's center this. What you get with this is this. It's an AC adapter, standard brick. Get the uh, vault here, maybe. All right. So I've, I've taken this apart before. I was going to test it with the actual uh, notebook hard drive in here just to see how all that works with the regular spinning and uh, SSD. Um, but uh, I haven't gotten to that yet. I'm just going to take it apart again just to show you what's inside. Uh, uh, so let's just go over some of the things you see here. Uh, so this looks like metal. It's actually plastic. Um, these... Uh, Vents are pretty big, but there's a smaller mesh. I'm not sure you can see it. That should keep some of the uh, bigger dust particles out. But it doesn't look like uh, it'll keep a lot of the smaller uh, dust particles. So it is a passive cooling. So there's no actual fan to basically circulate air. Just the uh, big heat sink inside, which uh, I'll, I'll remove all the parts so you can actually see it. So before I take it apart, let's let's look at uh, what it comes with the SS, not SSD, SD card slot, headphone, microphone jack, infrared for remote, USB uh, three ports, and more USB three ports in the back. A place where you could install an antenna for the wireless, dual port uh, Ethernet, and uh, HDMI. And display port. Uh, no VGA though. Uh, so VGA is kind of uh, going out of style with the uh, smaller uh, mini PCs and micro PCs. So you you won't won't see it as much. But uh, so how do you take this apart? Um, so these little rubber feet are actually thumb screws that you could just open up like this. So you don't even need a screwdriver at this point. You do need a good grip though. Alright, one more. And it opens. So you can see the uh, memory and the uh, the Wi-Fi card. There we go. I'm doing things uh, a little different uh, this time around. I could actually I'm recording this with the uh, my phone, so I could actually see what I'm holding these days by doing things on an angle here. So hopefully it's uh, it's better for everybody. All right. Okay. Okay. Alright, we'll get that out after. 
so the uh, magnetic tip isn't uh, picking these up as it normally does so I don't know why maybe the uh, magnet is getting weak So and this this there's another one right in this corner. So they have a little sticker that uh, basically says it voids your warranty if you if you remove it, but um, it doesn't matter. All right, so the uh, the whole thing kind of pops out. This is also to uh, to mount the uh, 2.5 hard drive. So right here, the uh, the posts are also actually screws that hold in the uh, the motherboard. Okay, let's first. Uh, here we go. So that's all the screws that were holding the uh, this part in. So I've kind of shaken them all out. And now let's uh, let's remove the uh, the posts. Uh, there are also screws that are holding the. Uh, motherboard in again my and magnetic tip screwdriver is not working as well yeah wonder what happened So one of the uh, great things about recording something when you're taking it apart, you don't have to really remember where all the screws go. You could always go back and review your recording, but this one's pretty simple. It's not like a, a laptop with varying size screws. So come on. Okay, so that's all the posts out, and um, I'm gonna flip it and kind of shake it out. Uh, here we go. So the uh, this part comes off, and I think that's the only part that actually does. Let's see. Yeah, none of the other parts seem to come off. So what we have here, okay, let's uh, let's pop out the wireless connector here, the black cable. So that's completely free, and if we flip it over. So this here is actually a, a giant heat sink. That's probably most of the weight on this uh, nano PC. So this is completely plastic, is really light. Uh, motherboard is really light except for this. I'm gonna pop it out. So there's no actual screws holding it in place. At least I don't think, oh there is actually one. Okay, hold on. It's actually two. So shows how good my memory is. I forgot about these. So here and here. All right. And so this is without the uh, heat sink on. So this, this is actually most of the weight of the actual PC. It's a, it's a giant heat sink and probably more than half the weight of this is because of this. So it's, it's solid metal. You can feel it. And uh, let's see. So now we can look uh, closer into the uh, motherboard. So this is where the SSD card was, right here, okay, 
And of course, this is the. Uh, there we go. So right here is where the uh, CPU was is. And. So it's a it's a nice little motherboard. You could probably uh, put it in a different case if you like, but uh, so far it's it's been okay. I've been using it to just uh, a single purpose, which it replicates data across the server and uh, stores it to a USB drive. So this is a good solution for something like that. Uh, it's meant to be a multimedia PC. But that's why it has all these um, uh, Display Port and HDMI. But I'm not using it that way. So that's that's it for this video. Let's put it down. Let's see if we side. Alright.